The overall goal of this procedure is to visualize sperm morphology. This is accomplished by first isolating males for dissection one day in advance. The second step of the procedure is to dissect the males to release sperm. The third step of the procedure is to visualize sperm morphology. The final step of the procedure is to prepare sperm for downstream applications. Ultimately, results can be obtained that show sperm morphology and the ability to activate through treatment with in vitro activators. The sperm isolation and activation protocol was first developed over 30 years ago by Sam Ward, Diane Shakes, and Gregory Nelson. We currently use this procedure to characterize mutations that alter sperm function and fertility in C. elegans. The overall goal of this procedure is to visualize C. elegans amoeboid sperm morphology. This is accomplished by isolating males one day prior to dissection in order to keep them celibate. The second step involves dissecting the males in order to release round non-modal spermatids. The third step is to visualize spermatid activation in vitro to the mature amoeboid sperm morphology. The procedure will be demonstrated by three postdoctoral fellows in the lab, Dr. Matt Marcello, Dr. Indrani Chatterjee, and Dr. Guna Singaravelu. To isolate sperm, first obtain a large number of males by crossing five wild-type males and one hermaphrodite on a small lawn of E. coli OP50 bacteria seeded at the center of a nematode growth medium, or NGM, plate. Roughly 50% of the next generation will be wild-type males. To collect L4 stage males, examine developmental stage and tail morphology under a dissecting microscope. An L4 stage worm is picked based on tail morphology.